Today, I'm going to put this Amazon Alexa inside this vintage alarm clock. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll figure it out. First off, I think I'm going to open up this alarm clock, see what kind of space I got to work with. Looks like we have a battery compartment we could probably remove. So yeah, move this out of the way and let's... By the way, this thing's fully functional, just so you know. I've had this thing since I was a kid, actually. So that's a Phillips head. It used to be my mom's. And she passed it on down to me when I was a lot younger. Okay, so yeah, a lot smaller than that. I am actually going to grab one of these long ones. There we go. All right. Flip it over. Grab my prying tool here. Let's try this again. My dog started barking. So, I was trying to pry this thing open. All right, it looks like it's wedged in here. Yeah, there we go. It's always interesting opening things that you've had since you were a kid. All right, there's the lens. I'll probably clean this thing up too. Oop. All right. Yeah, this thing's definitely old. So, my plan is this thing has 3.5 millimeter audio jack. I have these sound boards, Bluetooth audio actually, that take 3.5 millimeter in. And then you can output, output sound out of this to a speaker. So yeah, that's my plan. You can also hook a battery up to this and everything. So yeah, I think the first thing I should probably try to do is tie into the main power coming in. Actually, you know what? No. Looks like we have all of this space to work with because I don't need, I'm never going to hook a battery up to this. So I can desolder these two wires right there, cut this box out of here, and then I'll have this whole center section. And then I got to tear this thing apart and see how much space this is going to take up. So let's disassemble this one now. Got that thing all tore apart now. That was a little bit more of a pain than I thought. And the whole time, it was just a freaking screw in the back and then a couple clips. But regardless, I got it tore apart. It's actually a pretty small package. Um, not sure what each component does, but the power comes in right there. So I can solder two wires coming to those two pads right there. And then junction that into the original power cord. This is a non-polarized cord, you know, AC 120 volt. So, yeah, I think that will be my next step. Let's get this thing soldered up. Now, let's get these wires tinned up here. Bring my solder over here. I actually just got some 6040 leaded solder I want to try out.
Now that I got those power wires soldered on, I think I'm going to wrap this with cap Kapton tape because this the frame here is acting as a heat sink for this board. Not sure what these are, some some sort of processor, but to keep those connected, now that they're not in the tight shell, I'm going to wrap with this tape here just to keep it all together. This is non-conductive, so it's no issue going over top of different circuits. I just want to keep them together. This stuff's apparently a little stronger than I thought. All right, now those are together. This can flop around a little bit because all I'm going to be doing is hooking up a cord into there. So, but that is now making contact with the frame. So those shouldn't overheat. Back at this clock here. So I got this much space to work with. And as you can see, if I drop this down in here, it's awfully close, but if I cut out this battery tray right here, it should fit like within this space right here. And then I can mount this amplifier board up here somewhere out of the way. This just needs power, which I can jumper power from the, uh, from the Amazon Alexa here over to this. There we go. Saved you guys the hassle of cutting this thing out. But now I have all this room to work with There we go. It's sitting in there. This little notch actually right here sits perfectly around that. And I can just run the power wires over here where the mains is coming in and just tee off of that. And then this thing, I'll have to find a location on here somewhere to get, I believe this sound amplifier board runs off of five volts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's five volts. I'll have to double check, but I'll need to get power from there onto here somehow. So yeah, let's figure that out. As you can see here, uh, this project has went through a few different revisions. Um, I'm just gonna cut through all the crap that I went through to get to this point and I'll just explain it from here. So what we have is one of these the Echo Flex, I believe they're called. Uh, I have a second one because I thought I was gonna need it, but that's just very basic anyway. So I butchered this thing trying to get it apart. I literally cut the plastic part, not even realizing there was a screw holding it. So I thought I was gonna scrap this project and use a new one, but I ended up not having to. So turns out I was just an idiot. <laughs> anyway, this connector right here, the black part that clips it in, flips backwards to uh, lock in. And I thought it went the other way and I couldn't get it to stick. So I thought the connector was wore out for me taking it on and off a few times. But anyway, it's, it's good now. Audio quality is good. I actually started with this audio amplifier board, which is Bluetooth and it worked great, but the audio quality is crap. And I thought it was the amplifier board rather than this connection. Sorry, I had to cut for a minute. Anyway, like I was saying, this connection here is good. Uh, basically, when it, I had it flipped the other way, the audio was like super, super quiet. And I thought it was these amplifier boards. Thought maybe it was the Bluetooth connection, but anyway, it's good now. It was just this connection right here. So I ended up buying this Adafruit one and then hardwired it into the, the audio jack and just used a single line basically and it sounds great for mains power i just used one of these quick connects and tied in to that and uh when i had this one hooked up i used on the back of this right here actually no i did it's still hooked up so on the back of the usb port i used the positive and negative to come power the amplifier board and 
then I got rid of the old crappy paper cone speaker and put in these nice two watt I put in a dual channel uh, I may end up getting different speakers because these are kind of higher pitch but it works fine because I don't need super high volume in here this whole thing is just meant to be sleek you know so I'm gonna get it all buttoned up here and turn it on and let you know how it sounds all right got her all buttoned up got the time set it just looks like a normal old alarm clock from the outside but let's listen to some audio the audio mainly comes out the back and the top here so Alexa play copyright free music playing summer breeze copyright free for over 90 million songs on demand Say try Amazon Music Unlimited. Here's Summer Breeze, copyright free, by Monkey Punch, on Amazon Music. Gets a little bit louder. I'll probably have to change the volume in the video. Alexa. Shut off. Well, here you go, folks. Just a cool little project I'm going to put up on my shelf here. For when I'm not filming, I can just listen. So, as always, thank you guys for watching.